Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we are here for another pen tip video. In this pen tip video I'm going to show you how to replace the nibs on Caveco pens. And I will start by this one. This is the Caveco Steel Supra or Supra Steel. This is a pen that I, re uh, that I received from Caveco for review purposes and I don't know if you remember, I made a video that time that this pen had the nib a little bit bent to the side. I fixed most of the problem, but Kavec sent me, because it's their way to do things, they sent me a new nib anyway. So, you have here the section of the pen with the damaged nib. It's no longer damaged, but let's call it like that. And they sent these things. You see nib F, the size of the nib there, and they come they come inside these little vials, containers. And what you have in this case, you have a unit that is made by a collar that goes around the feed and nib. So you don't really take out the nib, you just replace the whole um, unit. So, you can just do it with your fingers or you can use it uh, a rubber band or a piece of rubber to give you a better grip. So, you just have to go like this with your thumb beneath, your index finger on the fins of the feet you have to do it carefully because the fi the fins of the feed may be um, fragile, so be careful. But you see, easily removed. You could do this without the rubber part, and I will do it without rubber part now. Just hold it tightly, but not too tight, and uh, keep the same alignment for the nib. Don't get disaligned with the rest. So. Now you have a new nib on your Supra pen. This is the number six nib, the big one. Now, let's go for another model, Caveco Sport. Let's imagine you have one pen like this. This is the Frosted Coconut, Natural Coconut. Frosted Sport Natural Coconut, that's the full name. And you find that your fine nib is not what you really want. So, you can buy from Caveco, also in this little container, a new nib, and this nib comes in a section, and this one is an extra fine. So, in this case, for the plastic Caveco sport pens, they, for the most of the, the plastic ones, like the Ice Sport, the Classic, the Skyline, and the Frosted Lines, they come like this. You buy the whole section, so you, it couldn't be easier. You just do this, put the old section apart, do this, done. You have new nib on your Kavec Frosted Sport Natural Coconut. Actually, it's a whole new section, so problem solved. Now, let's imagine that you have Instead of a plastic pen, you have a metal pen, and this is the AC Sport. The AC Sport Red, which AC because it has the carbon fiber inserts, the AC Sport has a black trim, but I think when this was released, Caveco didn't have black nibs yet, so this came with a silver nib. And I don't think it makes much sense, because the other models of this pen that came afterward with black trim, like the the green or the orange have black nibs. So, what you can do is the same. You order a black nib and this case, because we are talking about a metal Caveco pen, they come in a unit like it happens on the Supra. Just the Supra is a number 6 nib and this is a number 5, so this is much smaller and the other one won't fit. So, what you have to do is the same thing 
you put your index there, your thumb on top, and then you just unscrew it. You put it aside and you get the new one, do the same way of holding it, and done. Your Caveco Classic Sport makes much more sense with a black, uh, not Classic Sport, your AC Sport Red makes more sense with a black nib. So it's done. This way of changing nibs with just the, the unit will work. We talked about the Supra, that's a bigger nib, but it will work with the Caveco art sport range, at least the more modern, the older ones not all work like that, so the modern Caveco Sport, it works, the, it works on the AL Sport also, so AC Sport, art sport, this is a plastic, a plastic one but it works there, on the AL Sport, it's so aluminium, on the Steel sport, made of steel of course, the brass sport, and the older sport looks, it also works, and it will also work on the sterling sp uh, sport, it's made of silver, it's very very expensive and I don't have one, so I cannot show it to you here, unfortunately, I would love to have one, but it's too expensive for Caveco to send me one, um, more, it will also work on the Lilliput, it has the same size of nib, the same way of screwing in, it will work also on the student, it will work on the older all-rounder and it will work also in the special range and I don't have also the Kavec special, but I think this gives you a nice overview. Now let's imagine that you really want to exchange for something different that Caveco doesn't give you. Or imagine that you get a special edition like this. This was the, the Ocean Blue. It is a special edition and there are not sections available for this pen. So you, just, you, you want a new nib but you don't have a section. What you have to do is, it is not a good thing to do many times, you do the same thing as I showed you before, but instead of unscrewing, you just pull it gently and firmly and all this comes out and then you can put this nib into other Caveco pens or the other nib into this one. Pay attention that inside there is the same kind of color like, uh, where is it, like this but it is glued inside the section, so it won't come out. And if you do this repeatedly, you take the nib every time you clean the pen, for example, and I've seen cases like that, people talk to me about this, sometimes this will get a little fragile, it will break, and then the pen will start leaking. So don't do it too much, just if you really, really need, if you don't like the nib, but do it once, don't keep doing it every time you clean your pen. You do not need to do that. Finally, I just want to show you the Caveco Perkeo, which is the student pen, a big one, but the same kind of nib, so the same size of nib, the number 5 nib, number 5 means it has 5 millimeters there, the length of the base, the wideness of the base of the, of the nib, and this pen has is not a removable, unscrewable color, you just have to pull all out. But be careful because this is much bigger and it looks much more fragile. It has a very big feed with lots of fins, so I would be very afraid of breaking it and it goes in very tightly. So watch out, not, do not break it. And if you want to compare, you can see the nib size is the same, but this one is longer. Now, if you want to put it back, you just need to put it on top of the feed and you'll find there is 
that place where it stops and keep it aligned and just put it in like this and done just a small detail which may be important some people complain of the fact it's difficult to it may be difficult to use a pen that has a triangular grip sometimes because you don't it's not easy for you to hold or imagine that you hold your pen at a strange angle and you do, and if this is aligned with this part it's not good so if you take the nib off you can put it in again with a different angle so it gives you more possibilities of writing with that pen so it, it may be a nice thing you can also turn it inside the the section but because it is so long and it seems to me it's fragile i would not do it just by turning i would prefer to take it out and then to put it in again but very very carefully this pen these pens are not meant to be to have the nibs exchanged every time it's like when you have your car if you when you go and clean your car you don't take all the car apart just because you want to clean it so clean things up clean them well but don't go over the top with it you don't need it and if you do more than you need you may break something so this was my overview about Caveco nib exchange I hope this was useful, this was a pen tip a little bit longer than usual, but I have to have some time to show you all this. This is all for today, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time, bye!